I am out here with the Mantis Q, unique Mantis Q. They have an update, which I did. It's 1.1.07. I'll put the release notes in the description. I had to get a new battery because the other battery I had took a crap. But I just want to take it up after the update to see, you know, if it's working properly or whatever. Let me uh, <clears throat> start some video. So we got that going on. So let's take it off. I did the compass calibration, which was a big, which was a big pain. Okay. Home point has been recorded. Yay. I remember the, of the last update I did on this thing and took it out and flew it. <clears throat> it uh, <clears throat> almost crashed into that berm over there because it wasn't acting right, you know. See if I gotta draw something over here for the follow me mode. I don't know if this one you draw a box. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let me try it again. These follow me's on these things are just. Okay, here it goes. Ah, God. Get into the box. Okay, yay! It's working. Okay. You know, some of these quadcopters get them getting this follow me to work is an annoyance. Okay, so it's working. So they didn't break that. Okay, so I exited that. Okay, so the video stopped, so now I gotta start the video again. <clears throat> now let's try... one of the other ones. Okay, how about the journey?
Well, it seems to be working a lot better this time than it did last time. Oh, yeah. Okay, because the last time it didn't work at all. I had nothing, you know, I had them big problems with it. Where it was going to go into that berm right there, so it was a real disaster. So, at least it worked this time. That's a pretty nice little feature. And I did the compass calibration on it too, which was a real pain. That took uh, four tries. So it's coming back. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so it did that. That's good. 63% battery still. I don't have it in the sport mode. That button's right here. I'm not, I just have it in the regular flight mode for filming. So let's try the um, point of interest. Let's go out here a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. And set the radius at uh, 55 feet. Let me get out there a little bit more. I just want to do like a 55 foot loop. Now this one's good because you only have to go to the point. You don't have to do the double set where you have to go to the point hit a set then bring it back and hit a set this one you just set the radius and hit start and it does it all by itself so let's try that 55 feet we'll do a 55 foot circle so it's going to do it now so it came back from where i was it came back 55 feet and now it's going to do a circle around that 55 foot radius that I programmed on the screen. So that one's a little bit easier than a lot of them to, uh, to do. And then you can set the speed and all that on there, but I'm just doing it at the default speeds, you know. So yeah, it's working great. So the update, they didn't, uh, they didn't wreck anything. Okay, it's good. It's all good. <clears throat> it's always good when they do an update and nothing's broke, okay. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, I'm going to stop it when it comes back around. And you can continue it too. You can change the uh the stuff on it. So I'm going to I'm going to quit that and just bring it down. Okay, so I still got 49% battery, but I want to try something real quick. So I'm going to bring it back and land it here. Okay, so none of the none of the flight plan stuff is messed up. Oops, almost missed that landing spot. 
I'll just land it in the grass. Screw it. I can't get it. Okay. <laughs> Motor failure. Yeah, because it rubbed in the grass. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to stop the video now. Okay. So the video is stopped. Now I'm going to unplug the phone. Turn it off. I want to see if it'll fly without using the app at all. Let me clean off the motors. Now I checked in the house. That there's a little uh, button on here that'll, this little green light right in here will flash if you hit the record button on the video. So I'm going to hit the record button on the video. There it goes. It goes from green to blue. Okay, so the video should be recording. Now I just want to manually arm the motors and take off and see if it'll fly without the app. Let me hit the sport mode and see how that does. Oh yeah, whoa. Now I don't know if Unique has any kind of um, halo on this if you're in without, without the app. And I'm not gonna stay up long because uh, I don't know what is gonna happen if the battery gets to a Return to home state. Okay, so I don't know. I'm up there probably close to 100, I would say. 100 maybe, maybe more. Oh, there's a bird zooming right around the mantis. I don't know what it is with birds. They like the mantis. But anyway, I would say I'm like 100. I'm going to go up a little higher. Okay, so... I don't know, maybe a couple hundred, 175, something like that. So there doesn't seem to be any type of halo on there because it's not vibrating the transmitter at all. And it's, you know, doesn't seem to be losing any type of bind so I would say that it's, yeah, it seems to be okay. Now I'm not that far out. You know, I'm only maybe 150 feet or something like that. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be uh, limiting the height is what I would worry about most because usually that's what they'll limit. Like with the spark, you know, the spark, I think they limit that thing out at like 80 feet up if you try to fly the spark without the... Uh, transmitter so okay I don't want to hit this return to home condition so I'm gonna land it
Okay. So I'm going to stop the video. It's still recording. Let's stop that. Okay, it stopped. All right. So that's good. So I think that update went well. Yeah. It flew good on that update. Way better than the other update that it did. So maybe they're working the kinks out of it. I suspect they are. I mean, it's been out for over a year now, so even though I don't think many people have bought it beside me, okay, I don't think many people have this thing. All right, there you go, guys. Unique Mantis Q. A flight after the update, so yeah, went uh, flew well, man. Flew well. Well, I guess I'll keep it for a while. Who knows? There was the update number right there. 1.1.07. And now this was the first flight on the battery. I just The battery just came today. It was 50 bucks for the battery. So, the other one died, which was my fault. That was not the fault of the uh, company. Because these aren't smart batteries, and I didn't discharge it properly uh, you know over the winter I charged it and I was planning on flying it never did so it sat all winter on that full charge and then when I went to start it up last week it uh, the battery was gone so it wasn't a whole lot of swelling just a very minor amount but it would not accept the charge and it would not start the quadcopter it was completely dead you know so it was a non-issue so there you go. Unique Mantis Q. All right, guys. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.